This picture, taken in 1976, holds many, many memories for me as I was, well, still a junior, under 20s anyway, and I was competing in junior European championships. But I'd had a, also a couple of senior matches as well. Uh, and here I was selected to represent Great Britain's senior team against South Africa with, uh, with as you can see, some of... British judo's greats and it was always an honour to represent my country but uh, what an experience to represent at such an early age uh, with such great judoka and of course competing in South Africa at this particular time was well it was a political minefield as apartheid was in full uh, use at the time and uh, and I have to say that at that particular time I was totally naive as to the ramifications and how it all worked and um, what affected um, South Africa, how it, uh, apartheid, affected South Africa and then of course how this um, impacted on the rest of the world and how they felt about it. Um, totally naive uh, but per perhaps my naivety was a good thing as I was to find out a little bit later on in our stay, about two weeks in actually, when we were staying in Johannesburg and uh, it was a an incident that kind of opened my eyes. Now, during our month there, we were to have four test matches against South Africa uh, and against their national team. And their national team had real problems uh, competing abroad. So instead, they invited teams... To visit them and of course the South African press were all over it and what a great opportunity it was for them and a great lesson a life lesson for me. Ray Neenan who's in the front with me who was by far our best runner and a great judoka as well uh, and he was sharing a room uh, with me and of course he wanted to run every day. Now I didn't mind running, but uh, not to the same degree as Ray. But there was no escape, I'm afraid. And uh, running it was every single day. And for some of the days, we'd run up to an hour. And uh, I could tell you that at the end of that hour, it was at some pace. It wasn't just a little trot out. It was really hard out. And uh, this one particular day, we got hopelessly lost. I remember that um, we were looking around for people to ask, but uh, little did we know that um, uh, we got so hopelessly lost that we'd run into this black township. And uh, it was close to the city, but uh, we'd almost done a whole circle. But anyway, so we ran in there and we saw this park and we went uh, to these two gentlemen who were in the park and uh, asked them for directions. And of course, they were very inquisitive and started asking us what we were doing there. And when we mentioned the judo, the first thing they did was to ask us to demonstrate, to teach them a little bit of judo, which we did with absolute pleasure. And we had a great time. I mean, we were showing them how to do it. We were going over for them. We were uh, showing them how to throw and... Uh, we were laughing and joking and in the end, of course, when we came to the end of it, they pointed us in the right direction for the hotel, Holiday Inn, and, and sent us on our merry way. Of course, when we told our hosts what had happened, they nearly had a conniption and, of course, uh, from then on in, they limited our runs to close to the hotel, you could say, and... Um, just looking back now, I realised that we, we just didn't have a clue as to what danger we were in and and what it meant. Uh, only later did we really appreciate how dangerous it just could have been, you know. But just by absolute luck, we met two really, really nice guys who helped us. And, uh, and I think we helped them as well. And uh, it was a great experience. A good one, anyway.
Our four test matches, well, they were won quite convincingly uh, by the British team. And I was really proud to win all of mine by Ippon and uh, met some amazing people uh, while we were there and became firm friends with many of them for, well, many years until now, you know, we're still firm friends with them. And uh, that's the great thing about judo, isn't it? It makes lifelong friends. And being part of such a great team so early on in my competitive, uh, competitive career was such a great sporting experience for me. Competing in South Africa, though, in such troubled times in 1976, uh, I can honestly say was a life experience that I will never forget.